Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, I'm talking about how to use insight to clear away anxious noise. Being able to discern mind signal from noise is clearly a way to reduce anxiety's tendency to push the emergency button. And we can get better at discerning with insight. A worry that is a real signal means that there is action that we need to take. Worry that is noise can then be set aside or ignored as there isn't any action that needs to be taken. And we will take action with legitimate concerns or signals. And we handle these concerns by understanding the problem and taking action. Where we get into trouble is when we don't know the difference and we believe everything that is going through our mind is a signal. It's not. There is a lot of anxious noise in there. Now, true insight doesn't come from thinking or from reading a book. Insight is founded in experience and can be accessed through practice. And the best and most effective practice or method is meditation. Meditation results in clear awareness in the absence of the day-to-day thinking mind and is a significant state for insightfulness. What we end up having is a way of practice. I know they use that word all the time, but that's exactly what it is. And it's exactly what we need to do to train our mind so we're not anxious all the time. We need to have this practice where we are setting time aside to not let the day-to-day activities be bombarding us. It's kind of like a little special cocoon where we can learn to train our minds because the mind needs to be trained. Letting it just run amok has gotten us into all kinds of states of mental health that we are not liking or not doing well with. And we can clear away this anxious noise with insight that we gain through meditation. So how to use meditation to gain insight. So I have a whole bunch of stuff here for you. If you've been practicing meditation already, you are probably well on your way. And this could just be a little refresher, or it could be a little inspiration for those of you who have started in the past and let it go. Or for those of you who have not quite started yet, maybe you want to think about why you haven't started. There's all kinds of ways to meditate. This is a simple insight meditation where we are just going to anchor ourselves. I'll go through it all so that you can actually start to practice it and you'll know why you're doing it. It's not just something that somebody told you to do or that you heard everybody was doing and that you need to do it too. You want to be able to Be in there with your own mind and discern the difference between thoughts that are real actionable things that need to be taken care of and things that are just noise. All those worries about the future, if there is nothing that you can be doing about any of it, right now it's noise. Now it may end up being that in the future there is an action that you can take. 
but we're dealing with the present moment, not the noise about the future. When we are sitting there in our meditation, it really helps you to get clarity, to have your mind be something that you like being with. And so we have to be with it and we be with it, so to speak, in meditation. It's our way of befriending our own minds. Now, before I get on to the action steps that I want you to be working on, I want to thank today's sponsors. Today, Ned is with us, and I think about the difference in attitude around having a routine versus having a ritual. And I bet you will feel the same way too. Feeling like you are doing a ritual, say with your meditation or with taking your Ned stress blend or your sleep blend at night when it's time to take it, have it be a ritual, have it be meaningful. So whether you're using the CBD, the stress blend or the sleep blend, get present, slow down and use this time as an opportunity to be mindful, think positive and take a deep breath. I want you to smile and think about what you are grateful for. I enjoy taking Ned's Mellow Magnesium Formula as a beautiful ritual and a peaceful way to end the day. Become the best version of yourself and get 15% off Ned products with code ACP. That's H-E-L-L-O-N-E-D dot com slash ACP to get 15% off. HelloNed dot com slash ACP. Thank you, Ned, for sponsoring the show and offering our listeners a natural remedy for some of life's most common health issues. Now a word from our other sponsor, BetterHelp. I want to check in with you right now and see how you are taking care of your physical brain and thinking mind these days. We're talking a lot about meditation today. How are you taking care of your brain? How we think and deal with the stress affects our brain. So how we, well, we can care for our brain and mind is vital for how we actually experience life. And I'm reminding you right now that you are worth the time and effort to care for yourself, mind and body. I have someone to talk to that helps me care for my mind and body, and you can too. BetterHelp Online Therapy offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. It is so much easier than you are probably thinking. It's super affordable and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. There's no long wait. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash ACP. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash A-C-P. So let's get started on using some meditation time to gain insight and use that insight to help us clear away the anxious noise. I want you to make time. Meditation requires practice and regular effort. Early morning and late evening work best for a lot of people, but I want to tell you, even your lunch hour can work. Even a particular time that you have during the day that feels spacious enough for you to do this practice, do it then. The best thing to do is to try to get in the routine of using the same time every day, if possible, if possible. And you know, 20 minutes a day is awesome, but I want to tell you five minutes a day, every single day is wonderful. And I want you to do that. If that's all you can do, start there and build on it, build on this new habit. The best time to meditate is the time that you will actually sit and do it. Don't make this more complicated. Find a quiet place. It's possible to meditate under any conditions, really. But when you are learning, it's much easier to be alone in a peaceful surrounding. I want you to be in a place where you feel safe and a place that you won't be interrupted for those 5, 10, 20 minutes. 
And you can really then set the mind at ease. And isn't that exactly what we want? To set the mind at ease? Find a comfortable position. Any position can work. You can stand, you can sit, but I don't want you to lay down right now because you will probably fall asleep. But if that's the only time you can do it, when you are laying in bed, getting up in the morning or going to bed at night, do it then. It just leads us to fall asleep often. I've fallen asleep sitting up. So believe me, I know. I want you to understand there is no need to be fancy. You can sit or even stand, as I said, in a way that you can maintain a comfortable position for the period of time you're going to sit without slumping or slouching. It's important that we sit upright to stay alert. I want you to relax then. Once you've found a comfortable position, just breathe and relax your muscles. Maybe your mind isn't going to relax. I hear you, but relax your muscles. And maybe you need to tighten them first to relax them. Do what you need, but get those muscles to gently relax. Now, this is sounds so simple, but simple isn't always easy. So just want you to know, don't be hard on yourself. We're just going to keep practicing this. We won't be doing it perfectly right here out of the gate. Next, I want you to focus on your breath. And when I say that, I am not telling you to change your breath, to make it do anything different, to count it or to do anything with it. Your breath is going to just be your anchor, the thing that will hold you in this place of the present moment. It's going to always bring you back. That is your anchor. So you can feel your breath, whether you notice it at the tip of your nose, at your belly, in your throat. Maybe you notice your ribs expanding. Everybody's got a different place where they can notice the breath. That's your anchor. Feel the air moving in and out of your body. And one of the reasons we use the breath is because it is only happening in the present moment. It is part of your experience in the present and your breath is always with you. You don't have to go get it. Doesn't mean you can't say you can't find it or you lost the app or whatever. No need to be fancy. No special accoutrements are necessary. Eventually you will be able to do this meditation anytime, any place. But right now when you're learning, remember, I want you to be where you feel safe and you're not going to be interrupted. And remember that the breath is your anchor to the present moment. You can't breathe in the future and you can't breathe in the past. Move your mind from thinking is what we're doing. We're moving the mind from thinking about anything other than what you want it to think about. It's not that you're going to stop thoughts or stop thinking, but you guide your mind back to the breath, to your anchor, when you find that you have drifted off. Where you want your mind to go, which is at your anchor, you will keep bringing it back. It's like breaking a horse. It takes time, it takes practice, and it takes repetition. We do this over and over until... We don't need to be concentrating so much on it. We end up getting some muscle memory. We end up actually when we sit, relax, and gently close our eyes, eventually you'll fall into it. It's beautiful. It's amazing how it all happens. But you can't get there by any other way than doing it, than practicing. So let's just keep at this. Don't be discouraged. Continue to maintain focus on your breath. Your attention will wander. Be expecting that. When it happens, just smile. How long it takes to realize that you've lost your focus on your anchor will vary. And sometimes it happens quickly and sometimes it can be, you know, minutes before it wanders off. Sometimes it wanders off as soon as you come back to the breath. It's okay. This is why we're doing it, so that we can practice coming back. 
Every time you notice that you're not at your breath, you're meditating. You noticed. That's mindful. So when you catch yourself thinking, notice it and bring your attention just gently back to your breath. Do not beat yourself up when your concentration is less than you'd like. Continue returning to your breath. Apply the same idea that we just discussed here. Apply the same thing to your daily life. When you're driving, drive. Keep your mind 100% on driving. While you're washing the dishes, do the same. Be with the act of washing the dishes. Don't be making the grocery list for tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we can do these things, but when we are wanting to practice having some control over our mind so that we can clear out some of this noise and have insight into what is really important and what is just jibber-jabber from the mind, we get there by focusing, by concentrating. Avoid beating yourself up, like I said, when your concentration is less than you'd like and continue coming back to your breath. And enjoy the benefits. When you're talking with other people, when you're in a meeting, you'll see the reality of the situation by being fully present. You'll gain insights into people and situations that you never knew existed because oftentimes we're in those meetings or we're talking to those people and we are not fully present. So we're missing a lot. You can apply the same practice to the challenges in your life. You'll see the truth and solutions. They they will come. They will be present to you. Your anxiety is in the future. And with the insight you gain from meditation, you are keeping the mind more and more often in the present moment. And this is where all of your insight is going to be gained. And that anxious noise is going to look more clear to you. Understand what's happening. You've been provided with insight, but your overactive mind, your beliefs, opinions, and preconceptions have been getting in the way. You know, it's very busy in most of our minds. I know mine is. And meditation clears away all of this noise and the bias. You're then able to experience real insight. It's like clearing the slate. Allow yourself the advantage of all the insight available to you. Although it's effective, meditation can take some time to master. You might not feel like you're gaining any benefits at first. So I want you to just keep at it. Just keep at it because, well, I heard it will work eventually if I just keep at it you'll be well rewarded for your effort. I have people in the group who have kept track of how long they have gone meditating and sitting every single day, like a streak. And if this helps you to keep track, go for it. Have a little competition with yourself. Like you don't feel like doing it, say, come on, it's five minutes and I'm going to keep that streak going. Use whatever means you need, whatever works for you and share it with us. Let us know how you're doing. We would love to hear from you. I love being here with you and I am so happy to know that those of you who have reported back to me that have actually taken the time to learn meditation and keep it going have had huge rewards. The benefits are incredible and they're individual. So again, don't give up, give it a go and know that I'm with you there. It's hard to do, but we can all take that time for ourselves. That's it for today's episode. And before I read today's quote, I want to remind you that if you want more than what's offered here and more personal guidance, you might be ready for our group coaching membership program. It's a deeper dive into what you learn here on these episodes. Each month, you'll receive two anxiety clearing skill sheets sent in email. You'll also receive two live group coaching calls 
which are recorded in case you can't attend. Those will help guide you through your challenges. And there's also a secret Facebook group for coach and community support every day, all month long. So if you're ready for more, go to anxietycoachespodcast.com slash group dash coaching and join today. I'd love to see you in the group. And now for today's quote. Meditation is like a gym in which you develop the powerful mental muscles of calm and insight. And that's from Ajahn Brahm. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at the anxietycoachespodcast.com. 